everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Sagittarius Broken Heart Reading for mid-July. In this message, Sagittarius, we're going to look into the energy surrounding you, the energy surrounding your person. We're going to see what's challenging this between the two of you. Then we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the energy in this portion of the message. We'll look at how they're viewing the challenge, what their true intentions are moving forward, anything that's hidden that you need to be made aware of, and where you're headed if you stay in this energy. I will clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So, Sagittarius, let's dive in here and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this month. Most important message here for Sagittarius Spirit. What do my Sagittarian friends need to see? Ace of Swords coming out. We'll see if it comes back out in the reading, but that's truth. That's clarity. Something is about to be revealed here, Sagittarius. Let's see. In regards to a connection. Sagittarius. And this has been coming out heavily in this reading, in these readings for some reason. Okay. The energy is coming out that there's a situation that's present here that I feel here that you may be withholding some information from this person and this person has found out. And this has caused the breakdown of this connection. Okay. The energy surrounding you, Sagittarius, the devil, the sun, the five of pentacles. It's like you're just trying to be happy, but feeling at loss, feeling left behind, out in the cold. I feel here you may have even, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy, moved out of this situation. Um, however, this is resonating. I feel like this is a very heavy energy. It's also an energy of you withholding information from this person for whatever reason. Now, maybe there was a breakdown of trust, okay, um, with the five of pentacles, and that's why you don't feel comfortable revealing all the information to this person. The person that's being channeled here, Sagittarius, is a person who you have had a long-term commitment with the Hierophant energy. This is a person that's found something out, okay? Something has co come to light. Something has been brought to this person's attention, and I feel here this has caused them a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. The Nine of Swords is also an energy of being kept up at night, okay? And then the challenge here, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, the King of Wands. So somebody feels an energy of resentment looking back on the past energy. So let's clarify. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Devil, the Sun, and the Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius's energy. Now, again, guys, the roles can be reversed. These could also be cross-watcher readings, so keep that in mind. Devil, the sun with the five of pentacles for Sagittarius energy, please and thank you. Okay. So I feel like this is something that you're already aware of, that you may have this behavior pattern that you're trying to come to terms with, but... 
still having a hard time doing so because of whatever it is that you're holding on from your past and it could definitely be something that's related to childhood it doesn't necessarily have to be i feel like your person is waiting for you to come around mm -hmm. they're waiting for you to pull your head out of your butt seven of swords five of cups king of wands for the challenge here with Sagittarius. Please and thank you, Spirit. Both, you're both in a very unhappy position as it stands. There's an, a lot of imbalance in this connection. Um, uncertainty. This could really go either way. Okay. But I feel like your person is kind of watching and waiting to make the next move here. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the energy. Now, again, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to first look at how your person is viewing the challenge here in this energy. The astrological signs that are being presented. Capricorn energy. We have fire energy. Sagittarius is coming out here. We have Virgo and Taurus. How is Sagittarius's person viewing the challenge here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Okay. Seven of Cups. So a lot of options, a lot of confusion. I feel like this person is willing to fight for this connection with the Five of Swords here. I also feel here, Sagittarius, um, they want a new beginning. They want a fresh start, um, but they want to start fresh from the beginning, like all cards on the table, truth revealed. That's the energy that's coming out here. Okay. So what's this person's true intentions moving forward in this energy with Sagittarius? Please and thank you, Spirit. What is Sagittarius' person's true intentions? Okay, so this person is waiting, watching, waiting for the right time. That's what I feel like is coming out here. They definitely have their eye on you, Sagittarius, but they're trying to get clear on what their next move is going to be, to be honest with you. Trying to weigh their options, trying to see... Um, what is going to be in their best interest here in this energy, right? I definitely feel there's a distance at this time. You and this person could be talking or talking very little. little. And um, trying to figure out what exactly it is that you want to do. So anything that's hidden here that Sagittarius needs to be made aware of, let that come to the forefront of the reading spirit, please, and thank you. Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess with the Strength card. I feel like your person is coming to terms um, with maybe this connection has ran its course, right? Accepting, accepting the bad parts of this connection here and deciding what they want to do next. And I feel for a lot of you, um, it's very likely that this person moves on if you stay in this energy here, Sagittarius. If you keep this at a distance, if you um, push this person away. I feel here this person is kind of weighing their options already to see what their next move should be here. So, see where this is headed if you stay in this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. 
the Emperor, the World, the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. There's definitely an energy of moving on, moving forward, leaving this behind. Now again, this is still up in the air, but there's a strong energy leaning towards walking away. And moving forward here, at least for the time being. Okay, now I don't feel like your person is moving on into another relationship. I feel like this is going to be moving on, putting themselves first, taking some distance from this. Okay, but I do feel here an energy of maybe needing to take some time to work on self, right? Address these issues that why do you feel like you need to withhold information or sneak and do certain things? So let's look at the advice guidance moving forward here for Sagittarius spirit. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. I am going to do an extended version of the reading, guys. In the extended version, we'll take a little bit deeper look into what your person would like to tell you that they're not saying in this energy. We'll look at the other influences. Can it be saved? Is it worth it? It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. So Sagittarius, again... There is an opportunity for this to work, but you're going to have to come clean, basically, um, with whatever it is that you've been withholding here. All cards on the table. And then you guys are going to have to make a plan on how to move forward. However, the ball is in your court, and you're going to have to ask yourself what is going to be in your best interest, right? Um, is this person, is whatever it is that you're withholding, when you come forward and tell this person, whatever it is, um, will they walk away? Or will they stay and work this out with you? Okay, I do feel like there is a soul tie connection here. And that's definitely coming out heavily in the reading. You do, you guys both have a lot of love for each other. Okay, but I also feel like this is still up in the air. Um, still going back and forth on what should be done. So the energy oracle coming out here, Sagittarius, we have action and indecision. So there's def definitely a need to make a decision here. When it comes to this connection, when it comes to moving forward, if you're going to walk away or if you're going to try and work things out and how. But I feel like if you want to work things out, you're going to have to spill the beans, basically. Um, come clean with whatever it is that you've been holding back. So Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.